PVServe is the ideal service tool for installers. By sending electricity back through your solar generator, you can analyze it when the weather is not ideal, such as under cloudy conditions and even at night. It only weighs 19 kilos, so a single person can carry it. Just plug it into your wall socket. It does not need three-phase current. A lot of accessories are available for PVServe. There's a laboratory plug with multi-contact MC4 contacts, an adapter to connect multi-contact MC4 to SunnyClicks, which is used with SMA inverters, and an adapter to connect MC4 to MC3, which is still commonly found in older solar arrays. There's even a special tool you can use to unplug multi-contact MC4 connectors. Let me briefly show you how PVServe works. First, you have to connect the voltage supply using the mains plug. The two laboratory plugs are on the front. Make sure that the red plug, for positive, is inserted into the red socket. The blue one, for negative, goes into the blue socket. This photovoltaic array still has the old MC3 multi-contact plugs. I'm now going to disconnect this string from the inverter so I can send current back through it. To do so, I'm going to use the adapter that connects MC3 to MC4. I connect the solar array string to PVServe, which will send current back through the array, and turn the device on with the on-off switch at the top left. Now, we just have to wait a second. If I press the standby button, the device goes into operation. The sound of the fan tells you that the device is in operation. Here, you can see 622 volts, the voltage needed to send current back through the solar generator at 3.53 amps, which you can see here. That allows us to conduct these investigations on a roof. PVServe is commonly used in reverse current thermography, outdoor electroluminescence, and bypass diode tests. PVServe allows you to make thermographic records, which normally require 600 watts per square meter, meaning only with very good weather during the day. Now, you can make such records even when the weather is bad and when it's dark. So let's send current back through the panels. We can easily see here that some areas are much cooler. Those strings in the back do not have current running backwards through them. In contrast, the front string has current running backwards through it, and it's warm. You can clearly see where the individual panels are. You can also clearly see that this string under investigation has a defective panel. This method is used to find how strings are arranged on a roof if there is no documentation. It can also be used to detect defective bypass diodes, hotspots, and cell connections with great resistance, without a lot of sunlight, and even at night. The PV Vision Outdoor Electroluminescence Set basically contains everything you need to make such recordings. First, there is a revamped camera with a special infrared lens that has high transmissivity for this range of wavelengths. Second, there's a tripod that allows you to take photos with long exposures when it's dark. And third, a flashlight that also emits infrared light so you can get the proper focus for the picture. PVServe can also be used to take electroluminescence shots outdoors. Until recently, such inspections were only possible in the lab or when panels were taken down, not on an array in operation. Let me briefly show you how this is done. The flashlight is used to focus the camera. First, we will take a test picture. Here, you can see that the panels clearly show electroluminescence on all areas. But the panel at the bottom apparently has a problem with bypass diodes, and they are causing a short circuit in the panel. As a result, this panel is not emitting any electroluminescence. 
These electroluminescence images even reveal microfissures in cells.